Uranium-238 is the most common isotope of uranium found in nature, with a relative abundance of 99%. Unlike uranium-235, it is non-fissile, which means it cannot sustain a chain reaction. However, it is fissionable by fast neutrons, and is fertile, meaning it can be transmuted to fissile plutonium-239. 238U cannot support a chain reaction because inelastic scattering reduces neutron energy below the range where fast fission of one or more next-generation nuclei is probable. Doppler broadening of U-238 is a neutron absorption resonances, increasing absorption as fuel temperature increases, is also an essential negative feedback mechanism for reactor control. Around 99.284% of natural uranium's mass is uranium-238, which has a half-life of 1.41 times 1,017 seconds 4.468 times 109 years, or 4.468 billion years. Due to its natural abundance and half-life relative to other radioactive elements, 238U produces approximately 40% of the radioactive heat produced within the Earth. 238U decay contributes 6 electron antineutrinos per decay, 1 per beta decay, resulting in a large detectable geoneutrino signal when decays occur within the Earth. The decay of 238U to daughter isotopes is extensively used in radiometric dating, particularly for material older than approximately 1 million year. Depleted uranium has an even higher concentration of the 238U isotope, and even low enriched uranium Lu, while having a higher proportion of the uranium-235 isotope in comparison to depleted uranium, is still mostly 238U. Reprocessed uranium is also mainly 238U, with about as much uranium-235 as natural uranium, a comparable proportion of uranium-236, and much smaller amounts of other isotopes of uranium such as uranium-234, uranium-233, and uranium-232. <laughs> Nuclear energy applications. In a fission nuclear reactor, uranium-238 can be used to generate 239Pu, which itself can be used in a nuclear weapon or as a nuclear reactor fuel supply. In a typical nuclear reactor, up to one-third of the generated power does come from the fission of 239Pu, which is not supplied as a fuel to the reactor, but rather, produced from 238U. Breeder reactors. 238U is not usable directly as nuclear fuel, though it can produce energy via fast fission. In this process, a neutron that has a kinetic energy in excess of 1 MeV can cause the nucleus of 238U to split in two. Depending on design, this process can contribute some 1 to 10% of all fission reactions in a reactor, but too few of the about 2.5 neutrons produced in each fission have enough speed to continue a chain reaction. 238U can be used as a source material for creating plutonium-239, which can in turn be used as nuclear fuel. Breeder reactors carry out such a process of transmutation to convert the fertile isotope 238U into fissile Pu-239. It has been estimated that there is anywhere from 10,000 to 5 billion years worth of 238U for use in these power plants. Breeder technology has been used in several experimental nuclear reactors. By December 2005, the only breeder reactor producing power was the 600 megawatt BN600 reactor at the Beloyarsk nuclear power station in Russia. Russia has planned to build another unit, BN800, at the Beloyarsk nuclear power plant. Also, Japan's Manju breeder reactor is planned to be started, having been shut down since 1995, and both China and India have announced plans to build nuclear breeder reactors. However, after safety and design hazards were uncovered, in 2016 the Japanese government ordered the decommissioning of the Manju reactor which may be completed by 2047. The breeder reactor as its name implies creates even larger quantities of Pu-239 than the fission nuclear reactor. The Clean and Environmentally Safe Advanced Reactor Caesar, a nuclear reactor concept that would use steam as a moderator to control delayed neutrons, will potentially be able to use 238U as fuel once the reactor is started with LU fuel. This design is still in the early stages of development. 
Topic: <inaudible> Radiation shielding. 238U is also used as a radiation shield. Its alpha radiation is easily stopped by the non-radioactive casing of the shielding and the uranium's high atomic weight and high number of electrons are highly effective in absorbing gamma rays and x-rays. It is not as effective as ordinary water for stopping fast neutrons. Both metallic depleted uranium and depleted uranium dioxide are used for radiation shielding. Uranium is about five times better as a gamma-ray shield than lead, so a shield with the same effectiveness can be packed into a thinner layer. DUCRETE, a concrete made with uranium dioxide aggregate instead of gravel, is being investigated as a material for dry cask storage systems to store radioactive waste. Downblending The opposite of enriching is downblending. Surplus highly enriched uranium can be downblended with depleted uranium or natural uranium to turn it into low enriched uranium suitable for use in commercial nuclear fuel. 238U from depleted uranium and natural uranium is also used with recycled PU-239 from nuclear weapons stockpiles for making mixed oxide fuel MOX, which is now being redirected to become fuel for nuclear reactors. This dilution, also called downblending, means that any nation or group that acquired the finished fuel would have to repeat the very expensive and complex chemical separation of uranium and plutonium process before assembling a weapon. Nuclear weapons Most modern nuclear weapons utilize 238U as a «tamper» material see nuclear weapon design. A tamper which surrounds a fissile core works to reflect neutrons and to add inertia to the compression of the PU-239 charge. As such, it increases the efficiency of the weapon and reduces the critical mass required. In the case of a thermonuclear weapon 238U, can be used to encase the fusion fuel. The high flux of very energetic neutrons from the resulting fusion reaction causes 238U nuclei to split and adds more energy to the yield of the weapon. Such weapons are referred to as fission fusion fission weapons after the order in which each reaction takes place. An example of such a weapon is Castle Bravo. The larger portion of the total explosive yield in this design comes from the final fission stage fueled by 238U, producing enormous amounts of radioactive fission products. For example, an estimated 77% of the 10.4 megaton yield of the Ivy Mike thermonuclear test in 1952 came from fast fission of the depleted uranium tamper. Because depleted uranium has no critical mass, it can be added to thermonuclear bombs in almost unlimited quantity. The Soviet Union's test of the Tsar Bomba in 1961 produced only 50 megatons of explosive power, over 90% of which came from fusion, because the 238U final stage had been replaced with lead. Had 238U been used instead, the yield of the Tsar Bomba could have been well above 100 megatons, and it would have produced nuclear fallout equivalent to one third of the global total that had been produced up to that time. Topic: Radium series or uranium series. The decay chain of 238U is commonly called the radium series, sometimes uranium series. Beginning with naturally occurring uranium 238, this series includes the following elements: astatine, bismuth, lead, polonium, protactinium, radium, radon, thallium, and thorium. All are present, at least transiently, in any uranium-containing sample, whether metal, compound, or mineral. The decay proceeds as U 92 238 4.468 times 10 9 Y alpha Th 90 234 24 1 d beta minus pa 91 234 m 1.17 min 0.16 percent pa 
91 234 6.7 h beta -1 17 min 99.84 percent beta minus u 92 234 2.445 times 10 5 y alpha th 90 230 7 7 times 10 4 y alpha ra 88 226 1600 y alpha rn 86 222 rn 86 222 3 8235 d alpha pill 84 218 3.05 min alpha pb 82 214 26.8 min beta minus by 83 214 19 9 min beta minus po 84 214 164.3 mu s alpha pb 82 210 22 26 y Beta minus by eighty three two hundred ten five oh one three D beta minus Po eighty four two hundred ten one hundred thirty eight point three eight D alpha PB eighty two two hundred six Display style begin array L C E carrot two hundred thirty eight underscore ninety two U two alpha four point four six eight times ten carrot nine C E Y carrot two hundred thirty four underscore ninety T H two beta carrot twenty four point one C E D carrot two hundred thirty four M underscore ninety one Pa begin B matrix C E two zero point one six per cent one point one seven C E min carrot two hundred thirty four underscore ninety one Pa two beta carrot six point seven C E H C E two ninety nine point eight four per cent beta carrot one point one seven C E min N B matrix C E carrot two hundred thirty four underscore ninety two U two alpha two point four four five times ten carrot five C E Y carrot two hundred thirty underscore ninety T H two alpha seven point seven times ten carrot four C E Y carrot two hundred twenty six underscore eighty eight Ra two alpha sixteen hundred C E Y carrot two hundred twenty two underscore eighty six R N C E carrot two hundred twenty two underscore eighty six R N two alpha three point eight two three five C E D carrot two hundred eighteen underscore eighty four Po two alpha three point zero five C E min carrot two hundred fourteen underscore eighty two P B two beta carrot twenty six point eight C E min carrot two hundred fourteen underscore eighty three by two beta carrot nineteen point nine C E min carrot two hundred fourteen underscore eighty four Po two alpha one hundred sixty four point three mu C E S carrot two hundred ten underscore eighty two P B two beta carrot twenty two 26 C E Y carrot 210 underscore 83 by 2 beta carrot 5013 C E D carrot 210 underscore 84 po 2 alpha 138.38 C E D carrot 206 underscore 82 P B end array the mean lifetime of 238U is 1.41 times 1017 seconds divided by 0.693 or multiplied by 1.443, IECA. 
2 times 1017 seconds, so 1 mole of 238U emits 3 times 106 alpha particles per second, producing the same number of thorium-234 atoms. In a closed system an equilibrium would be reached, with all amounts except for lead 206 and 238U in fixed ratios, in slowly decreasing amounts. The amount of Pb206 will increase accordingly while that of 238U decreases. All steps in the decay chain have the same rate of 3 times 106 decayed particles per second per mole 238U. Thorium-234 has a mean lifetime of 3 times 106 seconds, so there is equilibrium if 1 mole of 238U contains 9 times 1012 atoms of thorium-234, which is 1.5 times 10 minus 11 mole the ratio of the two half-lives. Similarly, in an equilibrium in a closed system the amount of each decay product, except the end product lead, is proportional to its half-life. As already touched upon above, when starting with pure 238U, within a human timescale the equilibrium applies for the first three steps in the decay chain only. Thus, for 1 mole of 238U, 3 times 106 times per second 1 alpha and 2 beta particles and gamma ray are produced, together 6.7 MeV, a rate of 3 microwatts. Extrapolated over 2 times 1017 seconds this is 600 gigajoules, the total energy released in the first three steps in the decay chain. <inaudible> <inaudible> Radioactive dating 238U abundance and its decay to daughter isotopes comprises multiple uranium dating techniques and is one of the most common radioactive isotopes used in radiometric dating. The most common dating method is uranium lead dating, which is used to date rocks older than 1 million year old and has provided ages for the oldest rocks on Earth at 4.4 billion years old. The relation between 238U and 234U gives an indication of the age of sediments and seawater that are between 100,000 years and 1,200,000 years in age. The 238U daughter product 206 peta bits is an integral part of lead lead dating, which is most famous for the determination nation of the age of the Earth, the Voyager spacecrafts carry small amounts of initially pure 238U on the covers of their golden records to facilitate dating in the same manner. See also Depleted uranium Uranium-lead dating